Okay guys, welcome back to Spring Boot Security. In the last video, we used roles to dictate which users can access which endpoint. And we did this in the security filter chain. So this is technically known as URL-based security, and it looked like this. We had a request matcher, and we said, okay, for this endpoint, who has access? In today's video, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but instead of defining it in the security configuration on the security filter chain, we're gonna use method level security. So we're gonna define it on the method and it's gonna look like this. We're gonna have an annotation called preauthorize and then we will specify our role here. There are two annotations we need to get this up and running. So the first one is enable global method security and then we need to pass in the parameter pre post enabled is equal to true. We just gotta slap this on our security configuration to get it working. The other annotation we will use is preauthorize this goes on each individual method. So just FYI, there are more annotations that we're not going to cover explicitly, but pre-authorize checks the authorization before the method is called, whereas post-authorize checks the authorization after the method is called. This might be useful if you need to check the return value's contents before returning. And these annotations use the spring expression language. So with inside the parentheses, you pass in a string and then the spring expression language parses it to understand what it's trying to do. So we're gonna say has role of admin and spring expression language will figure it out. Of course, you could combine both URL-based security and method level security. Spring Boot would first check the URL-based security, and then if that passes, then it would go check the method-level security. So that's something you can implement on your own if you wish to. And just FYI, there are some other annotations you might see. So at secured, this is an older version of preauthorize, but it doesn't support the Spring expression language. So you might see that in some older code bases. And there's also another one, pre-filter and post-filter. This is similar to preauthorize and post-authorize, but it allows you to filter a collection and only pass certain items into the method that you actually want. So we're not gonna explicitly code these, I'm just pointing them out. You can go look at the documentation if you think this might be a good fit for your project. Okay, let's get started. So making our way over to the security configuration, we need to add this annotation in order for this to work. So at enable global method security, and we're going to pass in pre post enabled is equal to true. Then making our way down to the security filter chain, this is what we had implemented previously. We had our request matchers. Let's go ahead and comment this out. But we do need to add two things. So after authorize requests, we're gonna say any request needs to be authenticated. Okay, making our way over to the security controller. Remember we had defined two endpoints, one special and one basic. So above the special one, we're going to say, at preauthorize, parentheses, and then we're going to pass in this string of has role with parentheses and single quotes of admin. We're gonna do the same thing on the basic endpoint. We're gonna say has role, admin, but then we're also gonna add another one. So we'll say or has role user. And then go ahead and run your project. So making our way over to Postman, remember we have four endpoints mapped out, one for basic admin, one for special admin, one for basic user, and one for special user. We're expecting three of these to pass, but we're expecting the user to not be able to access the special endpoint. So let's go ahead and hit each one. So the first one passes, the second one passes, the third one passes, and as we expected, the fourth one we get a 403 forbidden. The user cannot access the special endpoint because they do not have the correct authorization. Okay, that covers method level security. We'll see you in the next video.